Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and HockeyShot.com and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about shooting technique on the three main shot types. So you've got your wrist shot, snap shot, and slap shot. There are a number of hockey skills that are really easy to work on off the ice away from the rink and shooting is one of the big ones. So in this video we're going to be using the dry line flooring tiles to shoot off of, the easy goal, and the ultimate goalie hockey targeting system. Now when you start getting into development strategy for shooting technique, there's always going to be different opinions, different philosophies, and different ways of doing things. So what I'm going to do in this video is just show you what's worked for me, share with you my personal opinions, and uh, you can take it for what it's worth, use it with your own teams, or uh, you know, use it as you're working on your own shot. So in my opinion, you're going to want to start with your wrist shot first and foremost, especially for youngsters. The reason why I start my development model with the wrist shot is because there are a lot of key concepts of the wrist shot that apply to your snapper and slapper. If you don't understand, you can't perform properly, you're going to have a harder time when you move on to your snap shot, slap shot. So basic fundamentals of the wrist shot is uh, you know, you're going to want to start stable position. Generally speaking, in a game situation, your feet are going to be perpendicular to your target, okay? So if you're perpendicular to the direction you're gonna be shooting. So if I'm shooting to my left, my feet are pointing straight out, that's your stable position for your basic wrist shot. Now, the main key points of the wrist shot, you're gonna pull it back, load up that back leg, and then you're gonna have a weight transfer. So you're gonna explode forward on your front leg, your arms snap through, your back leg kicks out, almost like a pitcher throwing a ball in baseball, um, but your back, load up, an explosive weight transfer, finish pointing at your target. That's a pretty, pretty key thing. You want a good follow through. I like to snap the toe of my stick over. If I'm shooting high, I finish high. If I'm shooting low, I finish low. So that's the basics of the wrist shot. So let's show you a couple of these in action. So we'll get to stable position, pull it back, let it go. Pull back, let it go. Pull back, let it go. Okay, so next up is your snap shot. Now there are two common ways to perform a snap shot. The first one is almost like a mini slap shot. All the mechanics are the same as the slap shot, except that instead of coming all the way back, you're shortening up your wind up. So it's quicker, quicker release, get the puck off quicker, and uh, you know, get it to the net. So basically you're just coming back maybe about a third of the way as high as you usually would on a slap shot. And then same concept, you're still gonna hit the ice about six inches in front of the puck. That flexes the stick. And then as you follow through, that releases the tension on your stick and lets the puck go quickly at the net. So that would look something like this. These are really good if you're close, you know, maybe one timer off a rebound or something like that. But basically just really quick wind up, let it go. If we're comparing this to the, snap, or to the wrist shot, um, on this version of the snapshot, your feet are generally gonna be, again, perpendicular to the direction you're shooting. So that's the setup. We'll do a couple more. So just stepping into it, letting it go, make sure you get a good follow through. But again, the wind up isn't coming all the way back. Wind up's just really quick, nice low. Just enough wind up to get a flex on the stick, then let that puck go at the net. The second type of snapshot that I'm about to show you is actually my bread and butter. By far my favorite shot. Um, to be honest with you, my shot selection has evolved over the years. When I was younger, I used to use a lot of wrist shots, but as uh, I got a little bit older, my upper body strength kind of started to catch up. Um, I started using the snapshot a lot. The snapshot in motion is really effective for me because it's a quick release, it's a deceptive release. A lot of times a goalie doesn't know you're about to shoot because you're doing it while you're skating. Um, I find that it's almost as strong as my wrist shot in terms of raw power and a lot more accurate, a lot quicker release. So I recommend this shot, love this shot. I've, you know, kind of started using this most often instead of slap shots as well. So by far my favorite shot, different people have different opinions on this, but either way it's definitely one you want to work on. With this, like I said, you're going to be skating in motion while you take this shot. So your feet are going to be actually pointed towards the same direction you're shooting. So pointed towards the goalie. The key is, is you want to shoot off your off leg. So if you're righty, you're shooting in stride while your right foot's on the ground, left foot's in the air, mid stride. So you're going to come in, 
basically you're stick handling, step out, boom. Okay, that's the shot. If you're a lefty, it's the opposite. So you're coming in, a lefty, as you take that stride with your left foot, left foot's on the ice, right foot's in the air, boom. Let it go. Okay, so what this one will look like in action is something like this. Okay, another good reason I like this is because your eyes are facing the target the entire time. So you can watch the goalie, watch for openings in the net. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Okay, last and probably least, in my opinion, is the slap shot. Now, I recognize that people may disagree with me on this. That's fine. Um, the reason I'm not too keen on the slap shot these days is the two main important things when you're trying to score on a goalie is quick release and accuracy. And you sacrifice both of those with a slap shot. So there is a time and a place for a slap shot. I definitely believe that players need to have a slap shot, but it shouldn't be the highest on the priority. You know, a lot of times you see the young kids out there, and the very first thing they're working on is their big boom and slap shot. Um, if you are a good judge of when to use a slap shot, it can be very effective. My opinion, you should only be using a slap shot if you've got an incredible amount of time, so the puck has come back, whatever reason, maybe somebody fell down, and you've got a couple seconds where you can step into it and really let it go low, hard, and at the net. Um, that's an okay time to use it, or if you're getting it away really quickly. So a slap shot is very useful for a one-timer situation where the puck's coming, and uh, you, know, you want to let it go quickly, get it at the net, and uh, cause some trouble in front of the net, let players hack in a rebound or whatever. But in terms of just raw shooting, you know, accuracy, quick release, it's uh, by far the lowest on the totem pole, in my opinion. So, um, having said that, let's take a look at the slap shot. A couple key mechanics um, I mentioned earlier. Some of the stuff applies from the wrist shot over to the slap shot. So if you don't have a good wrist shot, go back, make sure your wrist shot's good, and then once that's good and you're ready to move on to slapper, then uh, take a look at it. So, um, Feet generally are going to be perpendicular to your target again, okay? Now, you can do this while skating forward, stepping into it. That's fine. But for your general slap shot, you're going to start with the puck a little bit out, kind of to your, this is how I like it at least, kind of to my front toe, okay? My, the toe of my front skate. Um, then you're going to wind up. This is the big wind-up that we're talking about, okay? So you're going to wind up, okay? Load that energy. And then as you're coming through, you're going to rotate your hips first, almost like a golf swing. Kind of. You're going to rotate your hips first, and then you're looking to your contact point to be about six inches behind the puck. And what that does is that sets up the flex in your stick. That loads your stick. Then as you follow through, the stick snaps. That's where all your power comes through. Okay, So it's like a, a lot of torque in that. So your back, boom, your, your, your lower arm should be straight at the point of contact. Okay, That's going to flex the stick, Okay, and then boom, snap it through and follow through to the net. So full speed will look something like this. Let's get a couple more pucks out here. Okay. All right, quite a workout. So hopefully that helps. And again, just to recap, I like to progress my shot development in order of wrist shot, then snap shot, and then slap shot. The reasons why is because the wrist shot has key concepts that will apply in both the snap shot and slap shot. And um, I think you get more bang for your buck by developing your wrist shot and snap shot first because they're quicker release, more accurate. And then as you get more mature and uh, are able to read and react the play better, then you can start applying the slap shot in certain situations, but those situations are when you've got a ton of time or if you're using it as a one-time shot. You can pick up all of the equipment in this video at HockeyShot.com and make sure you visit us at WeissTechHockey.com for more tips, drills, and other stuff that will help you improve your game.